HR Basics is a series of short lessons designed to highlight what you need to know about a particular human resource management topic. In this HR Basics, we explore workplace investigations, outlining a simple process to ensure consistent and effective fact-finding in your organization. A workplace investigation is not an effort to prove or disprove allegations or to determine whether allegations are true. A workplace investigation is designed to find facts and determine what happened or what is happening in a situation. An investigator for the organization has the responsibility to look beyond the simple incident or accusation to examine the situation as a whole. The initiation of investigations is almost always the result of a report or a complaint. An individual or group has informed the organization that something is wrong. Treat every complaint as a gift. Don't like your gift? Mom still expected manners. Always thank the complainant for bringing an issue forward and being willing to describe their concerns. So why conduct a workplace investigation? If you ask most professionals involved in workplace investigations about their purpose, the answer you'll likely hear is it's to find the facts. There are five basic tenets of workplace investigation that are worth further consideration. Neutrality, fairness, documentation, proactivity, and understanding. Workplace investigations depend on a neutral third-party approach by the investigator. Neutrality is key to a successful outcome. Simply put, those conducting the investigation must be neutral res with respect to the conflict at hand. Neutrals are much more likely to be objective, and in being objective, they are also more likely to discover the facts. A neutral person, by definition, does not stand to lose or gain anything as a result of taking one side or another. They have no reason to initially favor one set of claims over the other. Such a position allows deciding factors to be what they should be, how solid is the evidence, what facts can be agreed upon, and what facts are in dispute due to uncertainty. Investigations serve as visible evidence that the organization takes employee concerns, policy, and procedure seriously. Moreover, investigations show that an organization will diligently research all evidence related to a claim to determine what actually happened or what a situation currently is. This builds a confidence of fairness among those who are aware of the investigation and beyond. An investigator who remains impartial keeps an open mind and respects the impact of their work on those employees involved has a profound impact on fairness in the organization. Neither human beings nor organizations have infinite memory. In fact, it's amazing how quickly memory fades over time, even when dealing with a complex investigation that's all-consuming. Documentation is critical to workplace investigations. That's why maintaining consistent and accurate and detailed notes is so important. This includes written notes of all interviews, summary notes of evidence review and procedural issues, maintenance of electronic records including email, and detailed investigation reports. Although a complaint is oftentimes initiated as a reactive investigation, it's important to understand other roles workplace investigations play. The role of investigations can also be proactive to ensure protected class discrimination, harassment, or other policy violations are not occurring in the organization. This may stem from other known behavioral or procedural issues that exist beyond a complaint. An investigation provides decision makers with the information they need to know to make a decision regarding a situation. The investigation and report become a source of shared understanding for purposes of decision making. While the investigator should be neutral and separate from the decision making process, they must provide clear and accurate information to allow for the right decisions to be made. Further, it's the role of the investigator to ensure that there's a mutual and agreeable understanding of the facts of the investigation. Shared understanding can only result from facts presented in context. With that understood, there's a number of decision points in the workplace investigation process. To best illustrate these themes, the workplace investigation model you see here has been designed to represent the major action points in the process. Let's explore these essential elements and major decision-making points. The first 24 hours following complaint is a critical period of time. 
The process of intake is decidedly different from the investigation. The intake is the process of taking in the complaint. The process of listening to and engaging a complaint will impact the quality of your investigation. Supervisors and managers are the most common participants of the intake. It's helpful for those involved in the process of taking into complaint to be trained and have the direction of an intake form. The intake form ensures the necessary information is collected regarding the complaint or allegation. Remember that every complaint is a gift. Your intake is all about active listening. You should listen actively and attentively to what people have to say. Close the door, turn off your phone, get out from behind your computer. Be appropriately empathetic, acknowledging the feelings being expressed but not validating facts. And avoid interrupting, expressing doubt or challenging perceptions. Express concern for the well-being of the complainant and clearly communicate what you plan to do with the complaint. Analysis of the situation or the claim will aid in the decision to investigate. Organizations should establish a consistent clearinghouse process to examine complaints and determine if an investigation is appropriate. Each complaint or situation that arises will be examined to determine whether an investigation is necessary. A threshold determination must be made as to whether formal investigation is needed. If allegations are not particularly serious, or apparently related to organizational policy, there should be consideration as to whether informal action should be taken. Some problems can be resolved quickly and informally without an investigation, and it's usually bet in the best interest of both the employer and the employee to do so. The factors to be considered should include the following. It should be noted that the following are intended only as a guide in the initiation of an investigation. Whether the complaint is serious and related to a policy violation, whether the issues are simple or complex, whether the complaint stems from a single incident or a pattern of conduct, and whether the alleged behavior is minor, moderate, or major in significance, and finally, whether all the facts necessary for resolution are known. Your analysis can result in the determination that a formal investigation is simply not necessary. Although a formal process has been ruled out, there are a number of employee relations interventions that might be used. These include employee coaching by a supervisor, performance management tactics for situations in which employees' job performance needs improvement, employee assistance programs to aid employees in a confidential setting regarding work or life events impacting workplace dynamics, and conflict management programs to provide employees and work groups with the tools and resources to address workplace and interpersonal conflicts. Once the basic issues have been defined, determine whether a need for preliminary interim action pending completion of an investigation is necessary. Interim actions are necessary to protect the health and safety of any employee or to protect the integrity of policy, interests, and the investigation. Interim actions, as you decide a workplace investigation is necessary, may include paid administrative leave, temporary transfer of an employee, the respondent or witness, alternative work assignments or scheduling, and accommodations for the complainant. As our model suggests, there are four primary considerations of a workplace investigation. These elements will help you be prepared to conduct a comprehensive, objective, and fair professional investigation. They include planning, interview, evidence review, and credibility assessment. Your investigation planning should be flexible. Each investigation should have a clear objective. The scope of your investigation will be determined by your objective. This is what you're investigating and what you're not investigating. Part of the planning process is determining who should conduct the investigation, which is a critical planning decision. A workplace investigation is only as good as the quality of the information that's gathered. The primary information gathering mechanism in an investigation is the interview. It's the way we find out what people have experienced, perceived, and felt. A good interview is well-structured and purposeful, an effective process by which the investigator is attempting to ascertain facts, to assess credibility, to generate faith in the process, to create trust, and providing the accused the opportunity to respond. Finding facts is dependent on examination of applicable evidence. 
Physical or electronic evidence is essential to some workplace investigations, and many sources of evidence exist. Investigators must be creative in thinking about and identifying possible evidence, including documentation, electronic records, or data that may support or refute relevant facts. Credibility assessment is perhaps one of the most difficult jobs for the investigator, and it has a few phases. Independent assessment of each subject's credibility after every interview. A comprehensive analysis of credibility as subjects contradict or dispute others' versions of events. And an independent analysis of the big picture as the investigator prepares the investigation report. Written investigation reports should be formatted in a manner that's useful for the reader and provides sufficient information to support decision makers' conclusions. Although variation in formatting is expected, overall report content should be consistent. A typical investigation report should explain intent and methodology, summarize allegations, provide an analysis of evidence, address credibility, and report findings of fact. The result of strong workplace investigations is fairness in the workplace. The workplace investigation models allows any organization to improve trust and realize better results in dealing with your next employee relations issue. 